In this video, we're going to talk about rationalizing the denominator. Now to understand why we rationalize the denominator, let's say we want to write one half into decimal notation. We did this by dividing 1 by 2 using long division. So 1 divided by 2 is 0, then 0 times 2 is 0, 1 minus 0 is 1, we bring down 0, 10 divided by 2 is 5, 5 times 2 is 10, 10 minus 10 is 0, and the answer is 0 0.5. Now this is quite easy, but let's say we have 1 over square root of 2, and we want to write it into decimal notation. We do this by dividing 1 by 1 1.414213, which is a non-terminating decimal, using long division. Now obviously, although it is doable, it is cumbersome to carry out. So instead of this, let's see what we can do to make it easier. Let's multiply 1 over square root of 2 by 1. Note that multiplying a number by 1 yields the same number, so we do not change its value. But instead of writing 1, let's rewrite it as square root of 2 over square root of 2. Take note that this is still 1. Now 1 over square root of 2 times square root of 2 over square root of 2 equals square root of 2 over 2. So therefore, 1 over square root of 2 is equal to square root of 2 over 2. Now if we want to write square root of 2 over 2 into decimal notation, then we divide the non-terminating decimal 1.414213 by 2 using long division. Now obviously, this is easier to carry out than the previous example. So in this example, we see that it is more preferable to write 1 over square root of 2 as square root of 2 over 2, because it is easier to carry out long division when the divisor is a whole number. Now let us have a general rule on how to rationalize the denominator. To rationalize an irrational denominator of the form nth root of b raised to m, where b is greater than 0, multiply the numerator and denominator by nth root of b raised to n minus m. So for example, if we have 1 over square root of 2, then b equals 2, n equals 2, and m equals 1. So we multiply the numerator and denominator by square root of 2 raised to 2 minus 1 equals square root of 2 raised to 1 equals square root of 2. So we have 1 over square root of 2 times square root of 2 over square root of 2 equals square root of 2 over 2. So therefore, 1 over square root of 2 is equal to square root of 2 over 2. As another example, if we have 2 over cube root of 5, then b equals 5, n equals 3, and m equals 1. So we multiply the numerator and denominator by cube root of 5 raised to 3 minus 1 equals cube root of 5 squared. So we have 2 over cube root of 5 times cube root of 5 squared over cube root of 5 squared equals 2 times cube root of 5 squared over cube root of 5 cubed equals 2 times cube root of 25 over 5. So therefore, 2 over cube root of 5 is equal to 2 times cube root of 25 over 5. Let's have one more example. If we have 7 over 6 root of 3 squared, then b equals 3, n equals 6, and m equals 2. So we multiply the numerator and denominator by 6 root of 3 raised to 6 minus 2 equals 6 root of 3 raised to 4. So we have 7 over 6 root of 3 squared times 6 root of 3 raised to 4 over 6 root of 3 raised to 4 equals 7 times 6 root of 3 raised to 4 
over 6 root of 3 raised to 6 equals 7 times 6 root of 81 over 3. So therefore, 7 over 6 root of 3 squared is equal to 7 times 6 root of 81 over 3. So that's how you rationalize the denominator. Thanks for watching.